Hello everyone. I'm Kosei Sakamoto from University of Hyogo. In this video, I'd like to talk about our paper, Rokka, an efficient AED based encryption scheme for Beyond 5G. This is joint work with Fuko Ryu, Yuto Nakano, Shinsak Sugimoto, and Takanori Isobe. First, let me give the background of our work. As you know, the fifth generation mobile communication system, or 5G, has been launched around the world. In the field of symmetric key cryptography, we have three specified cryptographic algorithms for 5G. NEA1, which is based on SNOW 3G. NEA2, which is based on AES. NEA3, which is based on ZOOK. These three core algorithms are the same as the algorithms used in the 4G system. Besides, recently, several new algorithms targeting 5G were proposed, such as ZOOK 256, SNOW B, and SNOW BI. These new algorithms are designed to satisfy the requirement for 5G, namely supporting 256-bit key ranks and achieving encryption speed of more than uh, 20 gigabps. When we look at Beyond 5G, regarding the key ranks, 256-bit key looks already sufficient even for Beyond 5G system. On the other hand, uh, regarding performance, we have to increase encryption speed. Actually, there are some white papers for Beyond 5G issued by some research institutes around the world, and it is said that the data transmission speed reaches more than 100 gigabps in Beyond 5G system. This means that we need to increase encryption speed more than 100 gigabps to avoid encryption algorithms being the bottleneck on the Beyond 5G system. This can be a big matter because when we take Snow B, uh, for example, uh, Snow B achieves around 40 gbps in AEAD mode. It is, it is sufficient for 5G, but for Beyond 5G, it does not satisfy the requirement for performance. When we look for other candidates, we find that several dedicated AEADs, such as Aegis Family and Shaoxin 346, can be a good choice for Beyond 5G. As you know, Aegis 128 is one of the winners for the AEAD competition Shiza for high performance application, and Shaoxin 346 is a third round candidate of Caesar. Uh, both of which are designed for a high performance application. However, even with these algorithms, uh, we cannot meet both requirements for Beyond 5G at the same time. For these reasons, it is obvious that we need to design a new algorithm for Beyond 5G. This is our motivation for this work. Before we go to the details of this work, I will show an overview of this work. In this work, we propose a new AES-based AEAD named Rokka. The design of Rokka is based on sponge-based construction like Aegis family and Shaoxin 346. The performance of Rokka is pretty good. The encryption speed reaches 2015 gigabps in encryption-only mode, and in an AEAD mode, it reaches 178 gigabps, which is almost five times faster than SNOW-B. Regarding security, we claim 256-bit security against key recovery attacks and 128-bit security against distinguish and forgery attacks, each of which are in the nose respecting setting. To the best of our knowledge, Rokka is the first dedicated cryptographic algorithm targeting for beyond 5G. In this section, I will give the specification of Rokka. Here is the RAND function of Rokka. 
The round function is based on the AES round function and XOR. Therefore, the size of each word is 128 bits. The number of internal state is 8, so the total bit length of the internal state is 1024 bits. As said before, locker is based on the sponge-based construction, so we can see this round function as a sponge function. x0 and x1 as positions inserted the round constant or message. This slide is about the initialization phase. Locker first rolls the 128-bit NAS and 256-bit key to the 8 internal state. Z0 and Z1 denote the round constant. You can see the specific round constant in our paper. In the initialization phase, we update the round function 20 times. In the processing the associated data, associated data AD is first parted and then absorbed into round function. If associated data is empty, this procedure will be skipped. In the encryption phase, message M is first padded and then absorbed into the round function. Two 128-bit ciphertexts are generated at each round function update. If the message is empty, this procedure will be skipped. In the finalization, we update the round function 20 times and then a tag is calculated. For more details of specification, please see our paper. In this section, I will introduce previous works and some important terms. First, I will introduce AES-NI. AES New Instruction Set, or AES-NI, was proposed by Intel in 2008. AES-NI aims to conduct AES very fast. With this AES-NI, uh, we can conduct AES 10 times faster than AES of T-Box implementation in par parallelizable modes such as CTR. The population of AES-NI is large. Actually, almost all CPUs have AES-NI in them, and many ARM's architectures also have similar instruction as AES-NI. The most important feature of AES-NI it's that it is the strongest instructions in Shimudo uh, in terms of security. Uh, since when AES-NI was proposed, many algorithms based on AES-NI have been proposed. In this work, we only use aes -ENC, which conducts one round of AES, namely subbyte, shift row, mix gram, and add round key. In this slide, I will introduce some works about dedicated AEADs based on the sponge function. As the dedicated AEADs, there are Aegis family and Shashin 346, both of which are based on the AES run function. The feature of these schemes is that the whole speed depends on the speed of the run function, as you can see in this figure. And achieving very fast encryption speed with AES-NI. In other work, Jean and Nickwick studied a method to design the efficient sponge-based round function based on the AES round function. They also generalized the AEGIS and Shaoxin type round function and presented a more efficient round function than AEGIS and Shaoxin. Let's look at more details of their work. Jean and Nickwick introduced an important metric rate. The rate is defined by the required number of the AES round function to encrypt a 128-bit message. The rate is very use useful when we estimate the speed of the round function. Then, 
They show the requirement of the efficient round function. The first requirement is that a round function has the lowest rate as possible. The second requirement is that we need to call the AES round function more than the latency of AES enc per throughput of AES enc in one round, which maximizes the efficiency of the AES enc calls. And the third requirement is that the round function has 128-bit security to the 4G attack. At the end of their work, they presented the round function with rate 2. Uh, this round function is more eff efficient than the round function of Aegis and Shaoxing because of the rate. Besides, they, Im they implemented these round functions to confirm that their round function is the faster, uh, fastest one. In this section, I will explain the design rationale of Rokka. Our approach to design the efficient AED is that we first design a fast round function and then construct AED based on the round function we designed. To design a fast round function, uh, we improve the construction by Jean and Nikolik. Then, we try to design the fastest round function among sponge-based AEADs. The security requirement of our round function is the same as Jean and Nikolik. After that, uh, we construct AEAD with more than 100 Gbps encryption speed and 256-bit key security to key recovery attacks. This is our general construction of the round function. We improve two points from the construction by Jean and Nikolik. The first point is to apply well shuffle before applying AES Enc or XOR. This contributes to increasing the number of candidates and we can apply it cost-free because worldwide shuffle does not require any shimmed operations. The second point is that we apply either AES Enc or XOR, not both of them. This merit is very clear that we can minimize the critical path to update the RAM function. Both points were not considered by Jean and Nikolik. Next, I show the requirement of our round function. First, I'd like to clear our target environment. Our target environment is Inter Ice Lake. This is reasonable because that Ice Lake supports the fastest AES Enc in terms of both latency and throughput. And architectures released after Ice Lake supports the same AES Enc in terms of latency and throughput. Uh, regarding the uh, requirement, uh, we follow the Gene and Nikolik's requirement. Uh, the first requirement is the lowest rate as possible. The second requirement is that the number of AESN calls is close to 6. Uh, the third requirement is a smaller number of A uh, internal state blocks. Our target is about 7, uh, which refers to the number of internal states of Snow B. The last requirement is about security, uh, that the round function has 128-bit security against for forgery attacks. Then, we decide parameters of the number of ASNX, the internal states, and message blocks. Regarding the number of ASNX, we apply ASNC when generating ciphertext blocks and the update the round function. At the ciphertext block generation, we apply one ASNC to each key stream. At this operation strengthens the resistance to linear bias, which is the most powerful attack to ages. From the number of ASNX applied to ciphertext block generation, uh, we call 6 minus the number of inserted message blocks in the update of the round function. 
Uh, we choose the candidates of the AND function according to the aforementioned requirement. Our six candidates are shown in this table. Uh, we evaluate security of these candidates against forgery attacks by internal collisions, namely, uh, we search the round function that achieves more than 23 active S boxes by an MLP. As a result, uh, we found 100 out of about 2 to the power 20 round functions in candidate 3, uh, which have resistance to the internal collision. To further narrow the candidates, uh, we evaluated the diffusion property. As a result, uh, we found 22 out of 100 round function that achieves the 7 round rediffusion. After these evaluations, uh, we choose the round function that achieves the maximum number of active S boxes in class of the 7 round rediffusion in the end. So, this is a round function of Rocca. Uh, it achieves the seven round full diffusion and has 24 active S boxes as the lower bound. In this slide, I compare the speed of our round function with other round functions. As you can see in this table, uh, the round function of Roca is the fastest one on Ice Lake. In this slide, I briefly explain the security of Rocca. As an initial security evaluation, uh, we evaluated the security against differential attack, uh, forgery attack, integral attack, state recovery attack, and linear bias. Uh, you can see more details of our security evaluation in our paper. Uh, we claim 256-bit security against key recovery attack and a 128-bit security against distinguishing attack and forgery attacks. Uh, we do not claim any security in the non misuse setting and the related key and non-key settings. In this slide, I provide a performance evaluation result of Rocca on OpenSSL. Uh, this table shows comparison of Rocca uh, with other schemes. As shown in this table, uh, Rocca achieves really impressive performance. Rocca achieves more than 200 gigabps and uh, 178 gigabps in the encryption only and AAD mode respectively. On the mobile, Rocca achieves more than 100 gigabps and 92 gigabps in the encryption only and AAD mode respectively. Uh, this result shows that Rocker is the fastest encryption scheme among them. And an important point is that Rocker is still the fastest uh, compared to ages 128, 128L, and Shaoxin 346, even though these schemes support 128-bit key while Rocker supports 256-bit key. Lastly, I conclude this presentation. In this work, we presented a new AES-based AEAD scheme named Rocca. Rocca is the first dedicated encryption scheme targeting beyond 5G system. The encryption speed of Rocca reaches more than 100 Gbps. And Rocca supports a 256-bit key. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.